Hey everyone and welcome to this video. Now in this video I will show you step by step how to withdraw any token from Qcoin. Now the first thing you want to do is to go over to Qcoin.com and log in into your account. Once you've done that simply go over to the wallet icon in the top right and click on main account. You'll then be sent over to a screen looking similar to this one and now you want to go over to the withdrawal button in the top right. If you want to withdraw crypto, which in this case you most likely want to, you're ready to go. However, if you would like to withdraw Fiat, make sure to click right here and follow these steps. Now, if you want to withdraw crypto, click on select coin and then select the coin you would like to withdraw. So let's say that's USDT. You will have to fill in the wallet address of the exchange you would like to deposit onto and you need to select the network. So let's say that I would like to deposit or withdraw my USDT from Qcoin to Binance. On Binance, I would go over to Finance Spot and go over to the deposit button in the top right. Now you want to look for the same coin you have selected on Qcoin, which is USDT. And then you want to click on Network and look at all the networks that are available. Right here, you can see that on Qcoin, there's five networks available, of which the Ethereum chain is available on Binance, right here. And is the Binance Smart Chain available? No, it's not. So the only chain you can use to transfer USDT from Qcoin to Binance is the Ethereum or ARC20 chain. Because right here you can see Ethereum ARC20. So make sure to select that network. Now please be aware that if you're going to transfer your Ethereum using the Ethereum chain on Qcoin and let's say BNB on Binance, all of your funds will be lost. So you will always need to double check if you have the same chain or network selected on both Binance and Qcoin or Qcoin and any other exchange. And once you've double checked that, you can simply copy your wallet address, go over to Qcoin and paste it in. Now fill in the amount you would like to withdraw. And you can see that in this case, I don't have enough USDT available because they're not in my main account, in my main account, sorry, because they're in my trading account. Now on Qcoin, you can only withdraw and deposit funds into your main account. So you can click on transfer right here and then select the trading account on the left and the main account on the right. Then simply select the coin, for me it's USDT, but this can be any other coin and then fill in the amount. So let's say it's 50, you're gonna fill in 50 and click on confirm. You'll then need to wait a couple of seconds and then in about a few seconds the main account available balance will go up to 50 USDT. I think you actually need to refresh. So let me copy the wallet address and refresh this page. And you'll then see the main account balance 50 USDT. So this is the wallet address and we had the Ethereum ARC20 chain selected. I'm going to double check again and that's right. So now fill in the amount and you can see that the max is 15 which is total bullshit because it's 50. Alright we learned something new today. It's 15 today because the fee is 35 USDT. Now that's why I actually recommend transferring a coin and not USDT. For example Algorand is a pretty cheap coin to transfer but I won't go into that in this video. Just make sure that you're transferring a coin with low transaction fees. I'm pretty sure XRP is one of them. Algorand is one of them. I'm 100% sure. I always use Algorand. So just fill in the amount. You can see that 50 minus 15 is, or minus 35 is 15. And once you've filled in everything you need to fill in, simply click on confirm. And that's how to withdraw from Qcoin. Now, if you would like to withdraw Fiat, simply go over to withdraw Fiat and then select the Fiat currency you would like to withdraw. And as you guys can see, I haven't completed my identity verification, so I won't be able to help you with this. However, it's really self-explanatory, and if there's anything you can't figure out, feel free to ask me in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.